And so what we've got here live tonight is a video on a report that videos suck. And we're going to go live to the conversation. So, O.P. Solsky, get ready. Uh, our first comment, O.P. Solsky's scathing review of video content. Nicole says, no, I am with you. If I wanted to watch a news story, I would. Don't tell me there's an article and then not give me one. And then Michelle Nolan Wood responds, drives me nuts. I would much prefer to read. Rebecca chimes in, I hate it too. And then Liz pops in with something staunch. Hate videos. Is that a type or a feeling? Hate videos. Although I think I despise slideshows more, we all do. My local news station has a love affair with slideshows, and I want to murder them. Patrick says, yep. Conspiracy. Danny says, totally agree. Sometimes you're on a break at work and you just want to skim something quick or you want to read an article and not disturb the others next to you. That's a courteous point, Dan. Gail chimes in, I'm the same. We all are, Gail. Bernadette says, OMG, such a pet peeve, I totally agree. And then David chimes in with something smart. I'm with you, can't stand it. And it's made worse, if possible, by having to endure some lame commercial before watching the video you didn't want to see in the first place. Bruce, clever Bruce, always has something clever. Bruce, is that you? I think people on the internet know that videos and photos get higher placement, even though there's no reason they should. He's on to something. Andy chimes in next. I'm the opposite. If I see a story and it doesn't have a transcript, I usually close it. We'll get back to this in a minute. But O.P. Solsky chimes in here and goes, wait, referring to Andy. I think we're saying the same thing. Andy, if I click the video and it has a story below it, I like that. But if it doesn't, it's gone. O.P. Solsky is tough. Elizabeth Jewell chimes in here and says, I can read faster than a video. Can give me the same information. Ain't nobody got time for that. Now we need a video for that. O.P. Solsky chiming in again. Elizabeth, yes, that is my primary issue. I can read the article before the video is done loading and then Lorne David Gregory, serial killer or president, says, I hate Upworthy. Even though, even more, if it has the at 302, he blows your mind and at 351, he masturbates on a donkey. But seriously, just a little. Ugh. Some of that he didn't say. But O.P. Solsky has to chime in again next. She's just all over this. What's up, Katie? I know it's your thread, it's your thread, it's your thread. I know that different learning styles exist and my librarian training compels me to be interested in all information access for all, but man, I hate those videos. Really? Hmm. Who would have known? Lorne, LOL, Upworthy. Then some douche named Mark Buckowicki pops in and he goes, any link that demands I listen to or watch an ad gets an automatic X out of me because this douche wants free internet. What the heck's wrong with this guy? Any. News is just too easy to come by to put up with that crap. Mark, you get what you pay for. Katie O.P. Solsky pops in again and goes, yep, I closed the heck out of those too, like a J.C.'s Penny department store. Some of that she didn't say. Anyways, Andy chimes in again now, and he says he must learn to read posts before replying. Andy, we all do this. I jump right in and react on emotion all the time. And Katie, I said the same thing as you. Yes, Katie, I said the same thing as you did. Clever Bruce is up next, and he goes, I think Andy was hoping for a video that would clarify the post. Maybe he was. Did he get one? But then no video. What to do? Clever Bruce. Always ending with a question. Robin Manic Burr, first time in the thread. Same here. I want to read. We're going to need a bigger book. Bruce, back again. Something clever. I think the real lesson here is that even those of us on this post who are older than the group average are still, dare I say it, old. At least in our approach to the information and media. You know, I still whittle my media into granite rocks with a bird behind a television screen. Either that... Or every damn information source out there is trying to show they're modern, even if they don't know what the what that would mean. So hey, slap a video on it, because it's got to be cool to the kids, right? Fuck kids. 
Anyways, this douche Mark Buckwicky pops up again and says, way back in 2009, what the heck is he bragging about now? When I was writing for Mahalo.com, we were required to find a featured video of our pages, and many of us were just too stupid to do it. We were told that it would improve page rank. Eventually, Mahalo dropped text entirely and then started producing exclusively Braille content. I learned to speak Braille and then moved to Santa Monica and became a professional surfer. Emma Bates chopped it. Again, Mark said some of that. The rest I made up. Emma Bates, no relation to the motel, says, I hate videos, mostly because the kids are always around. I never know if the video will be appropriate. Emma, you win the gold star for the smartest comment. The most courteous, anyways. Always thinking about the kids. O.P. Solsky, Bruce, any age, age range currently represented in this thread is mid-20s to mid-40s. Just trivia. O.P. Solsky. Again, O.P. Solsky, I know what you mean. The second there's a sound involved, what are you watching? Doug Ackman, first time in. I never click links to videos. I still can't believe you got me to watch an airline Christmas drink. Doug, you're going to have to get back to us on what that is. Iris Fagan Barton. I certainly did not pronounce that right, but she chimes in, nope, with an explanation point. Just one, appropriately enough. Adria Gatta. No, I am with you on this. Unlike most of the time, when we bicker so, we need to hear more about that. Shyla pops in and says, hate them. And then Terry says, I do the same thing and hate Facebook now starts video as soon as you roll over them. I can't hide them fast enough. There are some videos that I enjoy, but I want to be able to pick them after I've read what they're about. And then Katie Brown Solsky, OP, pops in like a bag of sticks and says, ha ha, yeah, I don't like those digital surprises either. Matthew Cook, no relation to Sam. I'm sure he can sing though, says, the issue is that revenue from video ads is far higher than for the usual display ads, so there's a temptation to trick people into clicking. Of course, this is immensely stupid for a couple of reasons. First, you piss people off. <laughs> and second, if you actually see more. Look at that. I didn't print out the entire script transcript. And Matt, you win for the smartest one. We all lose here. Anyways. Gina, to get forward, says, hate to bump you off the age range here, kitty did, but I'm glad to see others share my reluctance to click those videos. I can skim an article so much faster. Bragging. Melissa Richmond, I do the exact same thing. I hate that, especially when it autoplays. Anna, agree. Katie, I am with you. Eric, I totally agree. Gigi, only the short ones, real short. Katie, really short and they better load fast. Jillian, oh, I dislike this video. I wanted to read about it. Wendy, yup, Marianne. Seriously, Upworthy is probably the worst offender with lots of news and opinion sites are doing this. Reading is faster than watching a video. Also, I don't like being told that this will make your jaw drop. You've never seen anything like this. Or any of that crap. Just print the goddamn story so people can read it. You need a job in media. Betsy Davenport, oh god, me too. Never look at the videos, especially on my phone. I'm glad there's someone else with the same sensibilities. And then Betsy, brilliant Davenport. One thing I've liked about the internet is its retirement for basic literacy. Though the spelling and grammar of some users calls that into question. Daily. Which is, which can only be a good thing. So now they bring us to wall-to-wall -wall videos and people don't have to read. Read, damn it all. Stop watching the videos and read. I didn't want to listen because listening makes noise. I prefer silence any day of the week. And that's what we have so far for the video coverage of the video suck thread. Uh, more at 11, this is a developing story, and I'm sure most people are going to want to chime in after this is posted. Hopefully the story dies, though, and I don't have to do any more of these stupid fucking videos.